G'day and welcome to Lay 8 with Jenny Brandis. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a cathedral spider and save it as a motif so that you can use it again and again without having to redesign it. I have zoomed in nice and close so I can see clearly what I'm doing. I'm putting in the dots first, which is five, down one direction and then the other. And one in the center. Then I'm turning off snaps to grid and using the curved gimp. My first movement, sorry, my first line will go from this pin to the bottom right hand pin and then I'll curve it. The next movement will go from this pin to that one. So let's use the curved gimp, pin to pin, and again we're going to put a curve in it. And the last one is from this pin to that pin. Now I realize I'm only doing three curves. I'm not sure if you understand why. Just straighten this one up, move that out the way. Now I've got three lines put in, I need the other three on this side. Rather than rewriting them, I'm going to copy these ones and paste them over. Now to do that, I'm actually going to select them. Now these dots here are going to annoy me, so I'm just going to remove them by highlighting, clicking on it once to select it, deleting it off using the delete on the keyboard, and I'll put it back in a little while. Turning Snap to Grid back on, and now holding my control key, I'm going to select all three of those. You see how they've all got the dots on the end. Take my finger off the Alt key and right mouse click. Transform and flip. We want it to be horizontal. We want to leave the original one there. And there we have it. Now I just need to put these three dots back in. So I'll go to dots. One, two, three. And there is my cathedral spider. I've got to copy that now into the motifs. So to do that, we use group select, surround and select, right mouse click, choose save as motif. We're putting it in here in the five pin motif under spiders. And down here, we name it cathedral spider. Now I don't believe that is its actual name, but it's the name that I've been using it and then we hit save. To check and see if that's actually happened, we'll click on load a motive. And there we have Cathedral Spider. The next video will be showing you how to use the motives.